Do you want to have a look at the features of the AOS IP ROM for the Xiaomi Poco F1? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos hey youtube what's up Manji here back with another video and in this video we're going to have a look at the features of the aos ip rom for the xiaomi poco f1 once we are done with the features we'll go ahead and see how you can install this rom on your xiaomi poco f1 so this is how aos ip rom comes out of the box the only apps which i have installed are the miui camera the google pixel 3 camera and the manual camera compatibility test application you have your android 9.0 by recents in the building working like a boss with no issues at all let us now go ahead and go into settings go into apps and notification and see what other apps come with the aos ip rom so you have your asop keyboard you have your calculator this is the miui camera which i installed google camera which i installed and strangely enough you do not get any camera application and i'm not sure why it's not baked in but you can always go ahead and sideload the google pixel 3 camera because camera 2 api is enabled out of the box and if you want to play with the miui camera that is also something which you can do with root using a magisk module i have a separate video for that but the miui camera is working fine on aos ip other than that you have your clock contact digital well-being which was installed with the nano google apps a file manager gallery the google play services and google play store which were again installed with the nano google app magisk manager because i had to install the miui camera you have your asop messaging asop phone app i did go ahead and install the google pixel 3 live wallpapers and you have quick step launcher in the building let us now go ahead go to the home screen click on wallpapers live wallpapers just once and bam there you have it pixel 3 live wallpapers in the building set as wallpaper home and lock screen both and it is working like a boss on the home screen let us now go ahead and check on the lock screen so working absolutely fine on the lock screen as well going back into the settings application you do not have much to talk about in network and internet and bluetooth devices owls nest is where you have all the settings for aos ip we'll have a look at that later going back into apps and notifications we've already seen what all apps come pre-installed time spent in apps is where you can track how much time you have spent in certain applications and you can also go ahead and limit your time spent in those applications if we go ahead and click on advanced this is from where you can set your default applications in case you have multiple launchers or multiple phone apps or multiple messaging apps. You also have per app permissions wherein you can decide what applications have access to what sensors on your Xiaomi Poco F1. Let us now go ahead and go into battery. So you have your battery saver which will let you save battery in case you're not near a charging point. Then you have battery manager in the building something which Google added with Android 9.0 Pi battery manager will go ahead and keep checking your phone and if it finds any rogue app which is draining the battery it will let you know and then you can go ahead and restrict that application from draining your battery or simply go ahead and uninstall the rogue application next up in battery you have the time since your last full charge and you also have your screen on time in the building moving over to the next option in settings you have display the first option there is brightness level using which you can set your brightness level next option you have is night light so you can go ahead and set a specific time at which you want night light to come on and then a specific time at which you want night light to come off next up in display we have adaptive brightness something which google added with android 9.0 pi wherein your phone will automatically remember your settings you make to the brightness in different environments once you're back in that specific environment your brightness will automatically adjust to that level basically it's all ai and machine learning from google baked right into android 9.0 pi Next up, we have the option of choosing a wallpaper. So you can go ahead and use AOS IP wallpapers or Google Pixel 3 Live wallpapers. Clicking on advanced, you have sleep. So you can determine after how many minutes you want the display to sleep automatically. Then you have your rotation options. So you can go ahead and check what all rotation angles you want to be enabled. You also have the option of setting a screensaver if you want to and you also have the option of hiding the notch using this display cutout option which is generally in developer options but aos ip rom has baked it into your display settings let's go ahead and click on hide 
and bam my ui just restarted and the notch is now hidden and they also went ahead and made the edges circular so that it is in sync with the bottom however your icons are not using the notch area which is kind of wasted space but it is what it is the next option we have in display is wake on plug so your screen will automatically turn on when you connect the charger to your xiaomi poco f1 you also have ambient display in the building working like a boss and in addition you also have the option of going ahead and selecting ambient music ticker which will display the music which is playing nearby in your ambient display the next option which you have is device theme so let's go ahead and change it to dark and bam my ui just restarted and everything changed to the dark theme including my quick setting icons the next option in here is black af theme go ahead enable this guy and you have more darkness on your xiaomi poco f1 if you want to go ahead and change your accent color you can do that as well there it is my ui just restarted and the accent color has now changed to what i had chosen other than that you have the option of changing the font size and the display size as well the next option in settings is sound so you do have the new android 9.0 pi style ui wherein you can use this guy to change the media volume and this guy to change your ringer preferences however if you go ahead and scroll down click on advanced you do have the direct sound enhancer baked into aos ip roms definitely a decent touch from the rom developer the next option which we have in settings is security and location so your fingerprint scanner is working like a boss super fast like it has always been on the xiaomi poco f1 and if you go ahead and go into smart lock enter your pin go ahead and click on trusted face click on setup click on next one more time bam it is using the infrared camera on the xiaomi poco f1 for face unlock and you can also go ahead and set up a voice match that means you can use the keyword on the screen to unlock your xiaomi poco f1 other than that you have digital well-being in the building something which google added with android 9.0 pi this is where you can go ahead and see how much time you spent in certain applications and also limit yourself from spending more than a predetermined time in those specific applications the last option in the settings menu is system so if i go ahead click on system click on advanced i do not see the option for gestures which means that they would have enabled that option in the aos ip settings which is this guy over here owl's nest something which we're going to have a look at next all right youtube it's time to dive into the owl's nest and see what all settings we have over here first up is status bar so you can change your battery percentage whether you want it hidden next to the icon or inside the icon and how do you want your battery style you want a portrait you want a circle or any other option which you want then you have the carrier label if you want to see the carrier label and where do you want to see it and if you want to set a custom carrier label next up you have clock so if you want to see the clock end date you want to see the seconds or not and where do you want the clock do you want it on the left in the center which won't work on the poco f1 because of the notch or on the right which is how it was before Android 9.0 Pi. And if you want to see the AM and PM and specifically the date or not, next up you have icons. So what all icons you want to see in the status bar, then you have the roaming indicator, whether you want to see it or not, whether you want to use the old type signals for your network, whether you want to hide the notch, bam, this is the option which I was looking for. Enable this guy, click on the back button. The notch is now hidden and we are using the notification bar for our icons next up is whether you want to see the whole icon or not next you have network traffic whether you want to see the network traffic indicators or not and if you want to hide it for a speed which is less than a specific number of kilobytes next up in owl's nest is quick settings so you can enable the battery slider in the quick settings panel or not this guy over here whether you want it at the bottom or you want it at the top as it is right now next you have the adaptive brightness button whether you want to see the adaptive brightness button in your quick settings panel or not and if so where do you want to see it you can go ahead and change it to right or left and whether you want to see the brightness control buttons as well the plus and minus over here next up you have more customizations for your quick settings panel whether you want vibration when you go ahead and touch these guys over here or not what kind of animation style we are looking for so we change it to flip and bam it just flipped and how much duration you want the animation for 
Next up in Owl's Nest, we have notification. So you can go ahead and enable the ambient music ticker, which we've already discussed. Then you have battery LED, whether you want to enable the battery LED or not, whether you want a blinking light on low battery or not. And you also have the option of changing these colors, but the battery LED on the Xiaomi Poco F1 does not support RGB modes. So it will be white all the time. Then you have heads up whether you want to enable heads up notifications or not. You can also go ahead and set a timeout for your heads up notification and also the snooze timer for the heads up notifications. Then you have stop list. So if you go ahead and add an application over here, it will not display the heads up notifications in those applications. Then you have blacklist. If you go ahead and click on add app over here, then heads up notifications from those applications won't show. So the stop list is to stop heads up notifications displaying in certain applications and blacklist is for not showing heads up notifications from certain applications. Next up you have notifications. So whether you want the toast app icon or not and whether you want noisy notifications if screen is on that is play sound and vibration for notifications when screen is on. Next up in Owl's Nest is navigation. So you can go ahead and enable or disable your navigation bar. If you decide to disable your navigation bar, you can enable the navigation gestures, which is the OnePlus style navigation gestures, wherein swipe up is home, swipe up from right or left is back, swipe up from center and hold is your recents. If you do decide to use the navigation bar, you also have multiple options. So you can use the stock, then you have smart bar, then you have fling, and you have customizable settings for fling and smart bar. Next up in Owl's Nest, we have hardware buttons. So you can choose whether you want the reboot button or not. Then you can also go ahead and enable your advanced reboot. Once you do that, you will have the advanced option and you can choose to reboot into recovery, bootloader, reboot your system UI. You also have the option of adding the screenshot menu in the power menu. And you can also go ahead and disable the power menu on lock screen. Next up in volume, you have the volume tab control ring volume. Now if I use the volume rockers, I'm controlling the ring volume, unlike the media volume, which is set by default in Android 9.0 Pi. You can also use your volume keys for playback control, rotation swap, waking up your screen, and to answer the call if you want to. Next up in Owl's Nest, you have recents. You can go ahead and apply an icon pack to your recents panel, whether you want the legacy clear all button or not, and where do you want it. Next in Owl's Nest, we have lock screen. You can go ahead and choose custom shortcuts for your lock screen, the ones which display on the bottom, the left and right. Whether you want the charging information on your lock screen or not, whether you want the media cover art, so it will go ahead and display the media cover from the music which is playing on your phone, whether you want the music visualizer or not, and what temperature unit you want for your weather. So whether you want it Celsius or you want it Fahrenheit. Next up, you have fingerprint authentication vibration so once your fingerprint is authenticated successfully your phone will vibrate whether you want face auto unlock or not so as soon as you unlock your phone you just have to swipe up and as soon as it detects your phone it will unlock the device a pretty nifty feature whether you want quick unlock or not once you enter the correct pin you don't have to press the enter key as soon as you enter the correct pin your phone will unlock automatically and whether you want to scramble the pin layout on your lock screen or not. Next option in Owl's Nest is gesture. So if you go ahead and click on Aesop gestures, click on swipe up on home button, enable this guy, you now have Android 9.0 Pi gestures in the building. And if you enable full gesture mode, swipe this direction will take you back. Unlike the back button, which Google added as default in Android 9.0 Pi, only God knows why. Once you enable the full gesture mode, you also have the option of enabling double tap to sleep on the empty nav bar. Other than that, in gestures, you have brightness control wherein you can adjust the brightness of your Xiaomi Poco F1 by sliding across the status bar. You have three finger swipe screenshot. You have double tap to sleep, which you can enable on the lock screen or on your status bar. And the last option in Owl's Nest is advanced settings. Inside this, you have per app app ops so you can decide what all apps have access to your location your personal information your messaging your media and other things 
if you want to see your cpu info you can go ahead and enable this guy and you have three more options which i find pretty useful the first one is vibrate on connect second one is vibrate on call waiting and the third one is vibrate on disconnect these are all in call options as for the benchmark score this is the benchmark score which i got on aos ip rom and like i always say do not judge a custom rom by its benchmark scores all right peeps let's go ahead and see how you can install aos ip rom based on android 9.05 on your xiaomi poco f1 do note you need to have an unlocked bootloader you need to have to have recovery installed make sure your battery is charged at least 50 percent and make sure you've backed up your data because we're going to do a format data and that will result in you losing all your pictures videos and any other important information which you have on your xiaomi poco f1 videos on how to install to up recovery and unlock the bootloader on your Xiaomi Poco F1 are linked in the description of this video. Moving over to the files which we need, you need the ROM zip itself which is this guy over here. Then you need the open Google Apps because AOS IP does not come with open Google Apps. We're going to use ARM64 9.0 Pi Nano Package. Then you need the vendor firmware for Poco F1 and you also need disable force encryption. Next thing, go ahead and open settings, scroll down, go into lock screen and password and make sure you have removed your fingerprint, pin, password, any face unlock data which you have set up. Once you've done that, go back, scroll down, go into me account and make sure you remove your me account as well. Once that is done, go back, go into sync and if you have a Google account set up, remove that as well. We're removing all the security, Xiaomi account and your Google account because we're going from talk MIUI to a custom ROM and I don't want you peeps to be locked out of your own device. Once you've confirmed all these things, go ahead and turn your Xiaomi Poco F1 off. Once your phone has turned off, go ahead and press and hold the volume up button and at the same time press and hold the power button till you see the Twerp Recovery Boot logo. Once we are on Twerp Recovery home screen, we'll go ahead and click on Wipe, click on Advanced Wipe, select Talvik Cache System and Data and then swipe to Wipe. Once the process has completed successfully, go ahead and click on the home button, click on install and the first file which we need to install is the vendor file for the Xiaomi Poco F1, this guy over here, beryllium vendor zip file, select this guy and then swipe to confirm the flash. Once the vendor zip file has flashed successfully, click on the home button, click on install and now the first file which we're going to select is the AOS IP ROM zip file itself, this guy over here. Click on add more zips and the next file which you need to select is the open Google Apps, this guy over here and then swipe to confirm the flash. Once the ROM and Google Apps have installed successfully, go ahead click on the home button, click on install one more time and the last file which you're going to install is the disable force encryption, this guy over here. Select the file and then swipe to confirm the flash. Once disable force encryption zip file has flashed successfully, click on the home button. Click on wipe, click on format data and type in yes. Do note this is where we are doing a factory reset on your device. One last warning, make sure you've backed up your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your phone. Once you've confirmed that, go ahead and click on the check mark button on the bottom right. Once format data is done, go ahead and click on reboot system. And bam, there we have it, AOS IP boot animation on a Xiaomi Poco F1, which means we have successfully installed AOS IP based on Android 9.0 Pi on a Xiaomi Poco F1. That's it for this video, YouTube. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.